If you could brainwash yourself, would you do it? That may sound weird, but hear me out. Do you remember your first kiss? Or what about your first heartbreak? You see, our memories matter to us, and they make us who we are. But we often tend to think that our memories act like videos. Like our brain was a camera recording every moment of our lives in accurate detail. But the truth is that our memories are like murky, complex systems that can be manipulated. Imagine if you could remove bitter memories of your past, or maybe even implant pleasant memories in your brain through memory manipulation. This might sound like it's coming straight out of science fiction to you, but researchers are using a technique known as optogenetics to map memories and then manipulate them using lasers. There have already been documented success trials with rats. Using optogenetics, researchers are capable of erasing the fear associated with bad memories in the rats. Researchers first map which neurons fire when rats are exposed to certain events. Then, they make those neurons light sensitive. When the rats are exposed to lasers, the light sensitive neurons are activated and the desired memory is brought to light. So far, the scientists have only attempted optogenetics with rats, but they are having great successes isolating very specific memories and turning those memories on and off. Experts say it's just a matter of time until the same precision can be used on human brains, allowing people to bring back happy memories and to discard miserable ones, especially for people suffering from PTSD. Scientists can not only remove memories, they can also implant false memories in the human brain. In one study, researchers were able to convince 70% of the participants that they had committed a crime, when in reality, they had not. Experts point to the fact that our memories can be distorted, or even completely made up. Each time we recall something, our brain reconstructs the experience and then configures it for storage. This is a process called reconsolidation. After each reconsolidation, the memory may alter a bit, particularly if new information is introduced via brainwashing. In another study, a team of researchers from UCLA successfully transplanted memories by transferring a form of genetic information called RNA from one snail to another. Researchers first shocked snails until they developed an exaggerated withdrawal response as soon as their skin was touched. Then, the scientists withdrew RNA from these snails and injected it into virgin snails who hadn't been shocked. Those snails also exhibited the withdrawal response when touched, indicating that they had acquired the response from the memories of the shocked snails. As a control, the scientists also extracted RNA from snails who had been hooked up to wires but not shocked, and the RNA of these snails did not provoke the withdrawal reaction in the subject snails. According to the researchers, their results showed that memory also resides in RNA, not just in the synapses. Experts agree that it's still a long road before science will be able to transfer human memories from one person to another, but most agree it's not an impossibility. But what would be the consequences of such a memory manipulation? Should we leave technologically tinkering with our memories well alone? Perhaps, bringing memory manipulation technology into existence could do more harm than good to both the individual and to society as a whole. For now, the science isn't stopping, so only time will tell.